So now's the time that we turn within. I invite you to relax. Lay aside anything you may have in your hands. Put down anything that may be wearing at your mind or tugging at your heart. Take a nice deep breath and be aware of that air as you pull it into your body. Notice the passage as it goes through your nose, down your throat, filling your lungs. Feel the tension in it leave you as you exhale. Such a simple thing. The act of breathing. And yet how how little we pay attention. How little of our resources we devote to it. And yet when we become present, when we remember that breath draws us into this now moment, right here, right now. And as we remember to breathe more deeply, our bodies are nourished. our oxygen increases. Systems throughout our body simply work better because we are remembering to breathe right here, right now, in this moment. And even as our breath reminds us that we are tied to this physical plane. As we move within, as we become aware, we remember that we are more. The word for this Sunday is divine expression. In truth, I cannot fail. My divine nature, the truth of who I am, is not simply a presence within me. It is the very essence of every cell in my body, every thought in my mind. A sense of failure in any undertaking is a fear-based thought in my mortal mind. It has no reality in spiritual truth. Whatever the appearance may be, there is always a lesson, a spiritual awareness that will support and encourage me as I make future choices. As long as I remember to claim the good in every choice I make, there can be no failure in my life experience. Today, I welcome every opportunity to make a creative choice that perfectly expresses my true spiritual self. In this moment, in this time of meditation, we honor and commune with the divine expression we are. 
by breathing into that light and that love and that awareness of the spirit that lives in us in the silence. For those who live according to the flesh set their minds on the things of the flesh, but those who live according to the Spirit set their minds on the things of the Spirit. When we remember that we are each divine expression. when we are willing to let go of seeming, of appearances, when we are willing to trust, to have faith that there is indeed only one presence and one power, God, present in all things. We begin to look for the lesson and not the suffering in this life. We are each a divine expression, and in truth, we cannot fail. For that realization, and for that divine spirit in each of us, we say thank you. Thank you, thank you, God. So it is.